Hi, in this example of uh, using SharePoint, I wanted to show you how you can use Enterprise Search to surface information from other areas of your environment uh, into be making dynamic and uh, relevant content in other areas. So in, uh, back here in our SharePoint uh, site for our fictitious company called the Acme Scooter Company, we have an IT page. Now inside of information technology in a subsite there is a site called the project management office and if we go into the project management office we can see that there is a list called projects and projects are all of the current projects that are being run or have been run by this organization and uh, as we've been able to do in previous versions of SharePoint of course you can come into here and do a search on a scope that is either all sites in this case with people or the project site itself or um, the list itself that we're inside. Now if we select the list we now have the ability to search on um, a, uh, a specific status of these projects. So I'm just going to click search right here under the uh, keyword of active and what we'll find come back are all of the information inside of this list specifically that has to do with the word active. In this case it is going to be um, and not only the projects, but just a couple of views that are associated with this list. Well, I want to make this available in a site, not the one that I'm currently in. Uh, without having to break out SharePoint Designer and get uh, list lookups from cross sites, uh, it's actually pretty easy using search. What I'm going to do is simply to navigate back up to the site where I want to use this, and that's in the IT site. And I'm going to put that page into Edit by selecting the Edit icon and choose where I want a new web part to go. And I'm just going to put it right, uh, let's put it up here a little higher on the screen so we'll be able to see it when we get it added. Then I'll just simply choose insert from the ribbon. I'm going to insert a web part. And that web part is going to be from the category of search and it's going to be the search core results. So I select search core results and select add. That web part is now added to the page and all I have to do is edit it. And I do that by selecting it, choosing web part options from the ribbon choose web part properties that gets listed in the ribbon and, uh, and now what's going to happen is over on the right hand side we're going to see that little toolbar come up and, uh, and what we want to do is create a fixed word query and that fixed word query is active. Now if I just put this in like this I'm going to get anything in the entire environment that is listed as uh, has the word active in it and it's going to be you know some 130 or so type of items having done this already but I can add an additional piece to this query and it's going to be the parameter site and then all I have to do is put into uh, into here what I have in the clipboard and that is a link directly back to and down into the the site and the list that I want uh, to filter by and now we can click OK. Once I've selected OK, I just have to save the page to be able to see my results. So let's click Save and take a look at what we get. And out now, dynamically placed on a location other than the place where I was, the site where I was, I now have that information. Of course, it's still uh, skinned and looks very much like search results, but we could just modify that XSLT and have it look like anything we want and just show active projects. In fact, the last thing I'm going to do before we finish this demo is to do a little bit more from a usability perspective by putting that page into edit mode. I'm going to select the search core results. You can see that's what its title actually is. I don't want it to say that. What I want it to say is all active projects. And we can uh, get in and look at that by putting uh, the web part. Uh, of course, the page is in edit mode. We're going to look at the web part's properties. And inside of appearance, that's where that uh, titling is coming from. So let's type in active projects. And then if you remember when that page wasn't in edit mode, we weren't able to see that title because the Chrome type is set to none. And let's change it to title only and choose OK. Now we can see those results again by clicking Save on our page. And we should now see active projects listed here. And there's our dynamically created list of active projects. And this can be placed anywhere in our SharePoint environment. All right, hope that was helpful.